Okay, good morning, everybody. I know it's early, at least in the Chicago area. I kind of wanted to do a um, video kind of to introduce the <clears throat> the impulse scanner. I was meaning to go live a couple days ago, but had some health issues that I had to help uh, my father with. So we are raring to go. So for those folks that <clears throat> have not have some experience of trading, have a little experience of trading, have no experience of trading. Um, I've been a trader for the past six and a half years. And our group is now over 6,000 members. And we have focused on smart money for the majority of the time. And what we come to realize is that smart money is, is absolutely fantastic. I trade smart money, our group trades smart money. But we realized kind of over time that, you know, the journey for smart money for some people is a month. The journey for some people is six months. And so we wanted to find a tool or a resource that could help people become successful traders faster. So we connected with this impulse scanner and it's just kind of an amazing tool. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, so the impulse scanner is trend based. It helps determine trend. Will a uh, the market continue to trend up? will it a uh, trend down okay so this is the panel inside the impulse scanner all right so for those that aren't familiar uh with it these are the time frames one minute five minute 15 30 and we are on the five minute chart all right this macro <clears throat> trend very very important and we're going to turn that baby on all right so step one of the process for the impulse scanner is looking for trends that are all aligned from one minute to one hour and generally 30 or above all right and so you can scan these literally within um a couple minutes so let's take a quick peek here i do not know what the market's doing i have not been looking at the market so i'm doing it with you okay so gbp nzd trend is down and here is a macro so step one is obviously <clears throat> all time frames trending step two would be a macro trend alert we would like to take trades within two hours of this macro appearing all right and it's probably 20 30 probably close probably close to two hours i'm not going to count the number of candles obviously but it's close and then the third one is we are looking for, because the trend is down, four candles, right? See these red candles and blue candles? We are looking for four candles reversing, okay, against trend. Trend is going down. So here's one candle, all right? If we get three more candles, we could be looking for an entry on the first candle going back with trend which is down all right so obviously you can see it's a little bit of consolidating here the trend is still trending down so this would be a pair that we would watch for a particular entry all right so let's check out see how some of the other pairs are doing as we look and as you can see um very very let's see odd cad so <clears throat> this would not be a pair we would look at right now because the 15 and 30 minute are going in a different direction the macro trend has appeared okay but we want to make sure all time frames are aligned at least through the one hour if it's the four hour of the daily that's kind of a bonus okay um so for now we'll pass on that one all right uh adjpy no adnzd no on the one minute a U nope. C A D C H F nope. And as you can see, you can literally go through these pairs in a couple minutes. So E U R A U D is interesting. So other than the 15 minute, the strength is obviously trending down. The macro's back here. Now the macro could pop back up, obviously. So again, this is a five minute, so this is past two hours. So I want to review the rules one more time. Time frames all trending in one direction. A macro within two hours. All right. And uh, you're looking for four candles against the trend. 
and then you want to potentially get in at the close of the first candle that goes back in your direction with trend okay so those are the basic rules um, this would be interesting if we had a map oh we do have a macro so this might be an interesting move here in a few minutes because EUR CHF uh, we don't have four candles we've got a couple and then this red one so maybe not quite yet um, but if we can get four candles this might be a potential move because uh, as you can see all the time frames except for the hour so we got to keep an eye on that except for the hour are trending down uh, let's go continue to look through pairs and for those that are like are, aren't customers and you see this this just means a neutral candle it doesn't mean up or down means nothing okay uh, so EURNZD, all time frames are aligned. There is no macro, but again, the macro can, you know, pop up again. Um, this could be an interesting one if we got four candles to the upside. One, two. This, again, five minute candle. This could, we'll see what this does. That's an opportunity, potentially. EU. Uh, nothing all the time frames are aligned there I mean that's perfect you've got the four hour and the daily um, again neutral candles there is no macro um, so you kind of have to wait that one out a little bit GA now for those that are kind of traders uh, EU GBP USD these took major dumps a few hours ago especially on the one hour candle uh, GA, let's see, there's your macro. We're probably a little bit past two hours, in, but the time frames are not aligned, so that would be a no. A no, that could be interesting. Even though all time frames aren't aligned, pretty close to the two hours, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 40, 40 probably right about two hours. That's kind of an interesting one to look at. Uh, but all time frames are not aligned. GJ, okay, GU, there's your macro, probably a little bit too past the two hours. And keep in mind, New York is getting ready to open, so there'll be lots of activity. Uh, NZD CAD, uh, let's see, all time frames aren't aligned. NZD JPY, other than the one minute no macro trending up this might be an, if i had a macro this one would be interesting for sure my one minute is not aligned and you nothing really because you know this is what we don't want to trade even for our scalping strategy so we have a couple strategies that we use with the impulse all right our team does smart money um we've been doing that for multiple years tons of success stories and we have the impulse scalping strategy, which I've already, I'm discussing as we talk, obviously. And then we also have one, uh, a longer term strategy with the impulse scanner called, you know, with fair value gap. And obviously, uh, for members that are watching this live, you can see, you obviously have access to that strategy. And uh, for potential new members, what we like to do is when you get on board, we'd like you to focus on uh, our initial training with the scalping strategy and then once you get good at it then you can do the fair value gap you can do the smart money so we kind of have three strategies that we kind of focus on a little bit smart money and as you can see this is pretty amazing I'm gonna see if I can see any um, let's see GA so all the time frames aren't aligned, but this might be a potential move. We're still close within the two hours. We've got one candle, two candles. Let me see if there's anything in the past. Now, obviously, you won't be able to see the macro <clears throat> because obviously it, it uh, disappears, reappears. Um, this do, do, do. up, 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 up. Um, Yeah, look at this one. So this is trending down. Okay, so here, oh, this is trending down. Doo -doo -doo. 
Okay, so here was a move. As you can see, this is kind of trending down with the macro. Um, so here's your macro. <clears throat> so you're looking for four up candles. And obviously here are the four up candles. And then you would get in on the first red candle. So this is a move that I bet people in our community took today. Obviously I was asleep. I didn't see it. And then you ride it all the way down. All right. So how do we set stop loss? People are like, well, where do you put your stop loss? So these are Bollinger Bands, okay? It's like a secret sauce. And so we, what we do for stop loss is we measure, oh, let me grab my trend line. That might help if I grab it actually, right? So we grab the trend line and we measure From Bollinger, from the Bollinger Band to Bollinger Band. See if it's going to cooperate. Full disclosure, I'm absolutely horrible trend lines. And then, and of course, it's not going to let me grab it. And then, that's where we place it. Okay? Now, there's a couple ways to do stop loss, but as you can see, it never got even close. <laughs> okay. Uh, some people even take the length of the candle that they got in. And if you did that, I have seen people do that. Let's uh, grab the trend line again. And let's see. And done that, just the length of the candle. Okay. And now, come on, grab it. That's what I get for not having my morning Mountain Dew, so it's not going to let me grab it. Okay, come on. No. Nope. Love doing a live where you can't grab the candle, right? Okay, so <laughs> it's not going to let me do that. Oh, okay, it did it. I'm sorry. There we go. Actually, it should be up more. So it would be the kind of, uh, you know, for the length of the candle, and then that's where you'd put your stop loss. And as you can see, it never got, it never hit. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing close. And there's your move. All right? So I've gotten questions where, where do you place your stop loss? Well, that's up to you. <laughs> I mean, uh, where you place your take profit, excuse me. That's up to you. Some people just get a few pips and get out. Now, this would have been a longer move, okay? So remember, this is a five minute, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. You could have been in it, you know, an hour, all right? Could have put a stake, take profit down here, got out, and you're good. That's it, on to the next trade, okay? So that's kind of what it is, all right? Um, it, it's, we're having great success. Our members are having absolutely fantastic success. So let me review the rules one more time, all right? The first thing is you're looking for strength all in one direction from one minute to the one hour. You're looking for a macro arrow, all right? Then you're looking for four arrows going opposite trend, okay? And here you got five. And then in the very next candle, when it closes, you get in. And then boom, there's your move, you're out, call it a day, all right? So people ask, well, do you think I can do this? Okay, well, ask yourself, all right? Can you follow the four steps? Right? Four steps. Can you follow all four steps? If you can, and you're not a member of the community, reach me and I'll give you more information. All right? For members of the community, boom, boom, boom. Let's keep going. Let's go. All right? So that's pretty much it. I think I might do another live later today. So... Uh, if you got any questions, reach me. If there are any questions uh, in this live, I don't want to overwhelm me with uh, techni technical stuff, so I'm just doing the live, and I'll kind of see if there's any comments or feedback. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope everyone has a great day. If you're interested, reach me. All right? Take care.